Hello, everyone, and thank you very much for tuning in. I, of course, am Rotype. Welcome back to Factorio Cities, where I've done probably what amounts to quite a bit of work in between episodes. So I'll take a minute to show you. I know at the end of last episode, I talked about some cleanup work that I was going to do, and I I mean, it's all clean up pretty much, but I, I took it to... I mean, another level, I guess. I took it to where I wanted to take it. The first thing you'll notice, I turned the electric networks on. Let's actually turn off this pollution. That's a little annoying. And you can see they're all nice and gridded. And every time we get one of these block intersections, I went through with my wires and aligned them properly. So they have these nice, you know, this serves no purpose other than aesthetics, but it's my aesthetics. It's my factory. This is, this is how it's going to be. So I went through and I took care of all these things. This appears to be... So there are a few things like that where my old blueprint was a little bit in error. That one kind of corner power pole was out of alignment. So I've been going around and making sure, uh, hoping to catch all of them. Where, yeah, so trying to make sure I catch all the corners. This map view also helps for that. So it would show up very oddly on the map, which is how I noticed those two. Now, of course, I'm just going to go check some of these other ones. But other than the electric networks I've gone through, you can see I put a couple labels on the map here just to help myself get around. I've also moved or started to move the raw bus down here totally. Uh, as you can see, I haven't completed it yet, but there's this massive forest in here that I've started to clear out. And so I wanted to just, I don't like this, this turn. I decided against the turn. And I think in general, it's just going to be cleaner if we run the raw bus down here. So I started to lay out a bunch of, of the bus, all of the blueprints and everything to get that done. And now what I think I'll do and a little bit of this, uh, we can work on right now is it looks like we have for the most part, the iron kind of new raw bus, I guess. That's what we want to call it set up. So I want to actually get it, everything plugged into the, the, well, this new raw bus. So let's go ahead and get started with that. I want to go ahead and probably just connect it. Let's see. I think there is fine. So we'll run this right here. And this won't always have this corner here. I think eventually the train depot might just empty it directly onto the raw bus. But for now, we'll go with this. And because this is going to be the main bus, I'm going to, or the main, the main raw bus, the main, the main portage of materials, I'll call it. Uh, I'm gonna bring everything else underground and have this be just a four belt turn here. And now out of curiosity, I wonder if we have any two to oh well duh <laughs> here i am trying to be fancy with the balancers when really a two to four is quite simple so we're just going to do this we're going to split it out into four and now eventually we will have four or more iron raw iron lines coming in but for now we'll just split the two into the four and there we go so now we have this kind of solidly flowing stream of iron and you know while i'm up here I'm just going to go ahead and do the copper as well. It'll clear out a little more space for this. And again, I'm going to go with four just to keep the spacing, even though we probably won't fill it all. And actually, you know what? Well, no, well, this will be fine. We'll run down like this just to get that. And then before we go away from this area, connect up the coal, the stone, and let's make our one to four. This is kind of a weird, <laughs> again, just kind of curious. No, there is no one to four automatic balancer. I'm sure there is one someone can come up with. Probably not even that difficult now that I think about it, but you know what, we're just going to do this and use the two to four and only do one input because I'm sure soon enough we'll get a second input as well. All right, so now we have that coming down. We need to go to the four underground to get under the road. Do that here. And now here, we gotta make the turn. So I gotta clean up all this. This is a little too far. 
Oh, another thing I did, I don't remember if I mentioned it or not, but as part of my cleanup is I added lights, which I might as well go ahead and add this. I added lights to all the blueprints and went through and actually started plugging in some of the lights that were missing from previous ones just because it was getting a little dark. And, you know, I got used to the darkness until I dropped a few lights. And then once I dropped a few lights, I it couldn't take it anymore. Once you know the, the, the difference. Let's see, this is the wrong corner. I believe if I push it again. Yes. All right. So this is the, oh, yeah, right. Four. Okay. Yep. There we go. This needs to go here and there. Now I should have kept that open because we need to do it again for the copper. Bring this down. This will be a little easier to clean up. Just take this big decon planner and erase the ghost. And here's our corner. Correct corner. Oops. And place the belts. There we go. Now I do wish you could do that belt brush over existing blueprints. That's a little annoying, but I suppose we shall survive. All right. Now, because of this, I'm going to clear this blueprint all the way to here and clear this one as well. Now, let's see if I can get all four with an existing belt. Is that going to let me do it? Yes. Excellent. And let's run on the belt for extra speed. Up oh, and we're out of transport belt. Well, we can fix that. Let's go up here and grab our transport belt. A thousand. That should be plenty. Unfortunately, I have to clear again. We have to clear now these blueprints because it won't let me brush on top of them. But oh well. Off we go. There we go. Copper. And again, we have to clear the blueprint. We also need to clear this out of the way. Grab our four belt brush. And again, let's go up here. March our way down to the smelting area. Okay, so I'll leave that like that for the moment. Now here, what I am going to do, let's see, I'll leave this like this. I believe this all can be dismantled. This is not being fed correct by anything. I do want to empty this uh, iron. Oops, he says as he removes the ability to do that. I want to empty this without doing it manually because I don't want all that crap in my inventory and it's just it's just gross. <laughs> so we're going to clear these blueprints. Clear this. Clear all of this stuff. Let's just make this nice and clean. And then I'm going to let this drain first before letting this dump in. So I'll do that. So I'll dump it in when it runs low. But first, let's let's make it run low first. And that actually might take a while because we're not really using a ton of any of our resources really recently for most of the Time between episodes, I was just doing these cleanup tasks, which does not require much. So we're going to have to start getting into actually using some of these materials to drain all this. But that's fine. We'll get there. Clean up these guys as well. All right. And like I said, that'll clear itself up shortly. Grab one of these. Go to four. Under. And it looks like we have a few more trees in the way. I'll go ahead and clear the blueprint for now. Clear the blueprint, please. Thank you. Go to our four brush, switch to termites, and then run down here and hope the termites can handle this. Just, uh, unfortunately, we're going to have to wait a little bit for them to handle that. So I'll clean up the rest of this in the meantime. Just kind of bring this down even so it looks nice and squared off. And while we're down here, I can also keep extending the lights and poles, and keep the grid system in a proper way. There we go. Again, add the, some lights. Come on now. 
Yeah, I figure that would be getting damaged. That's unfortunate. Eventually we'll have robots to come fix all the damaged things. All right, this should be enough to get this running. There we go. So that takes us through our iron. Uh, oops. <laughs> I ran right past everything. So this is our steel. Copper probably doesn't even need to come down that far. Actually, very likely it does not need to go down that far. But I ran right by where copper needs to turn off here. And iron as well up here in our new our bus. Whoops. Oh, well, these things are fine. We'll take care of that by going up to here. And that will be a nice convenient marker for where we need our copper to come off. Now, I have no splitters, so I'm going to have to build a couple of those. Oh, and I'm building green circuits. That's really gross. Let's go find our green circuits, pick up a bunch of those, and make myself some splitters the fast way. And again, for now, we're just going to kind of do this. And we'll get a proper split later when throughput becomes really important. So, this is a group of four. Ooh, doing this backwards is going to be a little bit tricky. Let's see if I can remember here. So it's the two of the pole, okay, and then the light. Let's click that. And then immediately after the light is the bus. So on the light level is where I need to build this. Did that match? Yes, excellent. I was hoping that would work. Connect these up, and now we should have our copper smelting in a little bit better of a way. So again, same idea here. I'm just going to tuck this uh, run out of belt first. Pick up some of this spare belt lying around. I'm going to tuck this in like this to make sure I drain this off first. Looks like it's already getting there, which is a good thing. We'll clear that. Again, we'll clear this bus. Uh, any kind of trailing little pieces of belt hanging around. Got this guy over here. Great. Just got all kinds of belt, just in weird places. Uh-oh. Uh One object is being damaged. What object is that? What? What are you doing? Uh, okay. Die. <laughs> Where did you come from? Turn pollution back on. Uh, where are we? Where are we getting biters from? No, that looks okay. No biters there. Huh? We got a rogue biter, just kind of roaming around, huh? Interesting. Well, I guess I'll just leave that turret there. You never know when he's gonna come back. Hopefully we won't have to do any kind of major biter defense or offense yeah, for a while. Luckily he didn't damage too much, so I'm just going to kind of ignore that for now. And finish cleaning up the way things are running here. Now, we have copper. Coal is still up here, so we'll have to fix that in a moment. But the next thing I think is to... Hey, yeah, see, we've already run out the iron. So I'll head down here, and again, at the light level, oh, I do need to mark, here we go. So this column, at the light level, I believe that is correct. But let's just trace it across, good, okay. So that's the light level, and we'll go from here. Excellent. And this we can already disassemble, send the rest of the iron down to the steel. There we go, clean this up. This is already looking a lot better. And we'll source this right here. And again, for now, just one of these. Get a proper splitting mechanism later. This will just get this back into functionality. 
I have some of this on my person I want to get rid of. I just got all kinds of junk in my inventory I'll have to clear out. Slowly but surely clearing all this. I'll have to think of something to do with this block since it's kind of an in-between block. I'm sure I can come up with something interesting to have happen in here other than just concrete or paving materials. Alright, so I think the next thing should probably be... Well, we should divert coal because it's going to take a long time for the coal to drain because the furnaces don't use coal at such a rate. So the sooner we divert it, the better. So here's two off. Kind of clean that up like that. And here is where it has to come down. Now, again, for temporary sake, I'm just going to do this. This will be a single line of coal because I don't know how much we really need. Of course, that gave me the wrong. There we go. Oops. And we'll just get this single line of coal down. And off we go. Now I know we're going to have to peel this off here. And it looks like it's actually draining. I mean, not. Not super quickly, but not super slow either. So we're going to go ahead and do this now. This is going to go, let's see, the turn off needs to be here. So this will be where the splitter, oops, this is the wrong material. Let's see if I made sure I lined that up correctly. This goes here and I need to pick up more transport belt. So let's find it on our map. Transport belt, please. 800 that will do me for a little while. Oops. Okay, here we go. Excellent. And you know what? That uh, will not help drain this piece of coal, but it's a start. At least the iron will keep functioning. Now we'll go down and do the same thing with copper, although I might do a more appropriate temporary solution where I'm letting the main line drain first. So again, let's do this turn. Come up here. Run up like this. Clear you. Okay, now here I'm just going to come up. Actually, you know what I might do is will be a little bit ugly, but it's fine. Again, temporary solution, we're just going to dump it in behind. That way this has to run out first before we do anything. And then of course the steel. Oops. Clean this up. And it looks like the steel's already taken care of. I already dismembered, dismembered. I already dismantled the entry so i'll just kind of clean the rest of this up end up with a ton of freaking coal in my inventory yep that's what i thought uh, hopefully good okay dump all that and uh, pick all this up unfortunately this means i'm going to end up with all this in my inventory because i did not leave it to drain but oh well and full again how about you guys you need a bunch of coal good have a bunch of coal. And we'll clear just up to this splitter. There we go. Pull again. There we go. Uh, clear this. Clear this. This doesn't need to be a splitter anymore. There. Now this is trying to drain. And when it's done, it'll pull from the other place. So... This is going to be a good place, I think, to take a break. Between episodes, I will continue to do a little cleanup tasks, and soon, I promise, we're going to be building more factory stuff. Enough of the logistics. So, as always, thank you all very much for watching. My name is Monroe Type, and I'll see you next time.